This doesn't happen very often, Alejandro Moreno. You work with three Scotsmen, okay? I'm going to offer you a blank checkbook. Mm -hmm. You can do with what you want, but you've got to pick three of them. Okay. Or enter Miami if you were in charge. Now, first of all, do you want this to be realistic or fantasy? Well, first of all, we've got to find ourselves a stadium. Okay. <laughs> okay? We've we got to sort that out. Because if you're offering any of these guys to come and play at Lockhart Stadium in, is it in Miami? No, it's in Fort Lauderdale. So, okay. Let's say that we're able to manage okay. the situation and we're able to navigate through that. And then that these guys are still at a productive time in their career. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no question that then I have to look at what the market would value. And the market would be get at, would, would feel like it's a personality that they want to get behind. And so clearly the obvious names are Ronaldo and Messi. But just for the sake of argument, let's say, all right, we actually have not only the marketability of our players in mind, but we also have productivity of the players in mind. And so you look at the list and you say, all right, who's under 30 years old? Who is a guy that can provide us productivity and yet is a name that people can get behind and people can relate in a market that's inundated by Latin people? Well, if I'm going to go after a Colombian, it's not going to be Radamel Falcao because he'll be long gone by then. I'm going to say James Rodriguez. Okay. Good looking guy. Easy to market. People love him in Colombia. He's a hero. He's a guy that people are going to go and watch. Has played for many major teams. He's a big name in the world stage. Has done great in World Cups. Jaime Rodriguez would be certainly somebody that I can build a team around. And he's gettable. Oh, he is gettable. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Now, some of the names that I'm going to throw out now, <laughs> I don't know if they're gettable. And the situation has to be perfect. So nobody better than perhaps Cristiano Ronaldo in terms of the marketability and what he can do in a city like Miami and the excitement that he would create, so on and so forth, and everything that you can do around Cristiano Ronaldo. But if I can get Cristiano, maybe I can get Messi as well. So Could you imagine? Well, maybe not together. <laughs> maybe it's an either-or situation, but if you can get Messi and you talk about marketability and you talk about a, a guy that all he has to do is just show up and he changes the landscape, not only of your organization, but of MLS as a whole, then you go after Messi. If this is an, a fantasy world in which we can get either Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo, if you're Inter Miami, you go and do it. But before you even put together this fantasy world and before you even put together all these plans, the first thing that you have to do for these guys is provide them with a plan that they can get behind. A plan that convinces them that it is critical for them to be here, it's important for them to be here, it's important for them to take on this project. It can't just be a, a, a project of a, a, an expansion team. It has to be a project in which they benefit. Because he's not going anywhere without benefiting, and Lionel Messi is not going anywhere unless he's going to enjoy himself. If you're going to do it, you've got to do it properly. Over to you, Inter Miami. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.